Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising! Grand Rising! Beautiful souls in this work, I don't know we are not of this world. Cool baby day, I don't know the thing already. Here we are, Grand and Rising on this beautiful and blessed Monday Rising. Okay, I'm talking a little bit low because it is very early in the Rising. And um, I don't want to be too loud at this time. However, this is going to be a very short and simple word um, that God has been speaking to me heavily. And as he continues to speak to me about this thing, he makes it more clear on another level every single time. So, beloved, honestly, I am just sent here to encourage you that when there's something thank you holy spirit when there's a calling on your life there's going to be a lot of things okay and when i say things it's not just carnal guys it's spiritual first like there's going to be a lot of spiritual warfare a lot of spiritual attacks and you'll feel it you'll see it you'll know it right you're going to be getting attacked in different areas of your life in the spirit um, in the physical, um, emotionally, right? In the carnal, right? Like you're going to be getting attacked and it's primarily to keep you away from your calling. It's primarily to get you, you know, weary and, and, and tired and drained and frustrated and annoyed and aggravated and agitated and all these things. It comes to, you know, give you those spirits so that you're like man to heck with this i'm not gonna do this thing like this is not doing anything for me i'm not feeling it i'm not you know what i mean and god has been showing me that that's when you persevere the most that's where you remember what the scripture tells us that do not get weary in well-doing do not get weary in well-doing that thing that you are called to you were destined you were created wired and designed to do that thing so expect the warfare expect that the camp of the enemy right the the opposing side of the kingdom of god expect you know the enemy's camp to be coming at you with with obstacles and with trying to get you oppressed and stuff like that like ex expect it you understand expect it but what god is showing me is that once we know and have that knowledge and understanding that this thing that i'm called to do is so powerful and it's so impactful it's so life-changing so much so that the enemy is doing everything in power, everything that he can do to stop me. Once you see that, beloved, and that veil is lifted, no matter how hard it gets, you will try to do any little thing that you can do to get you out of feeling like you don't want to do it, feeling depleted, feeling stressed, feeling overwhelmed. You would try to take any little step. And let me tell you something. This is another major thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God will meet you halfway. You don't ever have to do something by yourself. You don't ever have to do it all on your own. You don't ever have to do it by yourself. You are not alone. You are not alone. And when God sees you putting your best foot forward and your best foot forward may not even be what you think you should be doing but as long as you did a step towards it to god that's your best foot forward and he will meet you halfway beloved he will meet you halfway you were not designed to do this walk alone so i, I encourage you today that if you feel like you're getting weary that's part of the journey but it's what you do in that feeling of weariness. It's what you do. It's how you decide to respond. It's how you react to it. It's what you decide to do. And I'm going to share something with y'all. Y'all know I'm very transparent. Me doing this grand rising right now is me taking a step while feeling weary. It's me taking a step while feeling like me can't undo it. It's me taking a step while the enemy was trying to have me overthink 
right? And second guess. The Bible tells you about someone who's unstable in all of their ways and they're tossed to and fro. Let us not be like that in this season. Let us not be like that from now moving forward in Jesus' name. So remember, you are not alone. And remember that the calling on your life is bigger than you. It's life-changing. And when you stay to it, when you stick to it, when you make little steps, even when you don't feel like it, God will meet you halfway. <laughs> and the job going to get done because God is going to get the glory. Amen? So I just pray that this has blessed somebody like it's blessing me right now in the moment. My God, hallelujah. That's another thing. Like when you decide to choose to stay in the calling, no matter how it feels, it replenishes you. It restores you. It redeems you. It fills you up. My God, God is so good. God is so good. So I love you guys so much. And I pray that you take this word and implement it as you go forward in your walk, in your journey, in your calling. Okay. I love y'all. Bless up. Make sure you go to the website, www.cb17visions, what is at the end.com. I know I, I look like who did it and why, but listen, y'all gonna get this word regardless. Whether I'm looking good, whether I'm looking, <laughs> whether I'm looking mm, like who did it and why, but listen, y'all gonna get it because it's bigger. It's bigger, bigger. So I love y'all. Bless up. You're done. Now. Have a blessed Monday. Oh, I need my nails done. <laughs>